Hello and welcome back to another video for Storage Chasers. No, we have not purchased another storage unit, but yes, we do have truck and trailer ready to go, but it's only to go to the flea market on Wednesday. Today is Sunday. It's a day of rest, supposedly. Uh, we had our online church this morning and uh, we've been relaxing, or well, somewhat, been uh, posting stuff on eBay. We did open up a new uh, eBay store. Instead of just having the uh, eBay page where we posted, you know, 50, 60 items or whatever. We actually uh, have started a store this year. That's one of the uh, new things we wanted to get started for 2021. So now we can post up to 350 items. Uh, I have about 200 on there right now. Um, went through this uh, bag of golf clubs and just posted about... 13 or 14 different uh, list items for different golf clubs that were in the golf club bag but uh, what this video is going to be about is when you buy storage units you uh, tend to store a bunch of stuff put it away and some stuff you you know sell and when we take it out to the flea market we kind of sell the same sort of things over and over again but you buy new stuff and you store it away store it away well we had a lot of stuff in our shed we have a lot of stuff in a storage room inside the house here and we have more stuff outside that we have to go through and we just kind of put it away and then we don't really think about it but then at these times when you don't have a unit is when you kind of look at that other stuff and say you know hey I need to go back through that stuff and see if there's anything good worth selling because when I originally put it away in storage I thought there was worth selling so we'll see now but uh, the first thing we pulled out of the shed was uh, this uh, TV slash DVD video player, it had a like a newer remote, universal remote in the box. It's been opened, so they were possibly using this with this. Maybe this match, you know, it'll match up. It's an RCA, matches with the Magnavox, I don't know. Uh, the box is for this TV. The Styrofoamies that go around it are not from this TV, but I'm going to make them kind of work. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to test this out and see if I can get it listed on, uh, uh, probably on Marketplace. That'll be the, the easiest way. I don't think I want to try and uh, sell this on uh, 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 eBay. Sorry, my brain had a turd there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this was originally 80 bucks at Big Lot, so maybe it's got some value. I don't know. But that was probably back in the day. But I also pulled out these items out of the uh, the storage shed. And uh, we're going to go through them real quick and kind of see what we got. It's kind of like an unboxing, re-unboxing. And see what we got that we can post up. Alright, we got some uh, real tree. Yeah, it says real tree boots. That probably could have been cleaned up and either taken to the flea market or posted on eBay. Here are some little uh, actual converses. See, those would have been those are nice, pretty clean already, but a little more clean. I probably can sell those on eBay. Here are some little boots, uh, not in the best of shape, but uh, probably a good flea market item. Here's uh, some of them red shoes. Probably good for flea market. Here's a Nike. Don't know if that what it's a Nike Air, but I don't know if it's Air Force Ones or what the style is on these. I'll have to see if I have the other one. So we'll put her right up there for now. And we got a couple pair. This one here, some uh, Rialto shoes, flats. Um, yeah, probably not worth anything, but I'll do a checker out on them. All right, then we got some of these yellow thingies here. Uh, I think this tag is like a Goodwill tag or something, so somebody pick them up from Goodwill, never wore them. But they are... It's okay, sh little yellow shoes. Um, yeah, I don't know, probably flea market. Here are some uh, GBX boots. It looks like they got some good tread on them. Good tread on them. They don't look like they tore up too bad. It's not a steel toe or anything. It says GBX inside there. Uh, got some of the leather. It's wearing off the back end of it here. So probably flea market. 
I guess on those, here's some uh, Adidas cleats or golf shoes. They got really like needles on these things. Ooh. So maybe somebody else will know whether these are golf shoes or not or running shoes. But yeah, do have them. I'll have to look them up. Got to research everything. All right, this looks like bowling shoes to me. Do have both of those. Team Cobra. Ten and a half, twelve. So <laughs> that's a that's a wide range of shoe there, but I don't know how bad they need to look to be. But yeah, that's what I've got for those. And then I got uh, these, which are says something on the bottom here. Novados Atomical Air. Yeah, so I don't know, but they're uh, look like hiking boot sneaker thingies. So yeah, we'll clean these up and see if they're any good. Here's some Steve Madden trash, probably. They were trash before and they're probably going to be trash again. There was a, like a candle or something that melted into this basket. So that's all bad, but yeah, so far, uh, looks like some flea market stuff, maybe some eBay pink shoes there, and I'll research these, maybe these sell on eBay, I don't know, if not, we'll flea market them, and if they don't sell on flea market, then they go fresh. This one here, I can only find the one right now, but I do have some totes to go through, so maybe we'll find her. If so, that'll be an eBay sell. Alright, let's get into the first bag. First bag is a a Iris Explore bag. I want to say this is one of those bags that you mount to the top of your car. We've uh, had several of those types of things before. And what else is in here? Uh, here's a tape gun. Here's some uh, like curtain. The inside's silky kind of curtain liners, I guess they would be. Um, Somebody had this listed for $5.50. It's a can opener. Knife sharpener. Knife sharpener. Still in the package. Uh, hand wash only. Rata cutlery. Yeah, I mean, that'll be something I'll put over here. And we'll see about eBay or Marketplace. Brand new nail clippers. There's some brand new super party poppers. Probably not worth a lot, but brand new sealed means it can go to the flea market or something. Pins, we just happen to keep pins. Here's some uh, axe spray with a dent in it. Looks like a dog was <laughs> looks like a dog was chewing on the can. Um, yeah, probably not anything spectacular there. Nail polish remover, we will probably keep that. Multi uses for that kind of stuff. Laucom. Okay, this is uh, a whole bunch, some kind of powdery makeup, but it's. Kind of bulging, so hopefully it won't explode on me. I don't know. Here's a table easel for a picture, maybe sellable. And look, Christmassy stuff. Great. Here's some uh, legs that I must have taken off something, and some knobs I took off something. Some fuel for for lighters. And here is it. All right, this was a. A box that said it was a blade, but it's got some kind of hardware in it. There's some drawer slides in here. So it looks like I had pieces, parts that I was taking off of furniture before I threw it away and was filling this up and then just threw in a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff, which I'm going to redo for right now, but this time it's actually going to be processed correctly before it goes back in the house or before it goes back in the storage or into the trailer. So that'll be a help for us. All right, tote number two. Yeah, all right, I got three of these Wolf right line gear. Uh, yeah, these are the big uh, pouches. These are for sure the ones that go on top of your car. Yeah, it's even better, so I don't have to open it up. But uh, it's a big pouch, and it's got these uh, straps and uh, buckles, and it actually buckles to the roof of your car. And you can kind of see a picture of it here, what it looks like. You fill it up like a big suitcase, zip it up, and strap it to the top of your car. And yeah, 
that's uh, that's what it does and that's what it is and I got three of them brand newish and there's the uh, the straps for some are in there actually I think I put the straps in the bag for some of them and then those are extra ones I think that's what I did I think it was I was actually having a smart day that day and did that so these should sell on marketplace uh, I'll, I'll look at them um, I'll bleh, I will look them up on eBay as well but I think marketplace would be uh, possibly a little easier all right we've got uh, here's some Charlotte Roos and oh okay they look like they're actually in there and these are brand spankity new and they are Charlotte Roos brand new as shoes okay I have no idea how much her shoes sell for these are size nines so I guess that's really kind of big for a woman maybe I don't know it's a taller woman uh, they were originally 40 bucks which means they are worth 10 bucks to 15 bucks on eBay probably we got a lot of cheap skates on there all right we've got uh, next in here Wilson there he is uh, we got some other junk in here all right this is a I don't know what it looks like it looks like it's a bag of diapers and you are correct sir there are some it's a bag of diapers great all right in here we've got yeah in there we've got a bag of miscellaneous jewelry we've got a bag of super look styling gel it's half full pouch there's another bag it's like jewelry-ish some watches some loose jewelry there's a little coach bag probably needs to be thrown in the laundry uh, looks like some loose more loose jewelry -ish stuff here in the oh. Really got to go through this stuff better. All right, yeah, we got some weird blingy stuff in here. Doesn't look like any gold or anything, but some of this costume jewelry people really, really jump up and down for. I mean, this could be like real shells or something. I don't know. It looks feels kind of plasticky to me, but yeah, we got a lot of that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look real, but yeah, we got to look it all up. Uh, Check it all out. Some of this stuff may actually have gold to it or something. But yeah, we'll check all this out. And uh, that'll be uh, uh, something that we actually have to get done. Can't just keep going through it and put it away again, put it away again. We gotta move, we gotta do something with it. Alright. This is a sleeping bag, Parco. All right, it's got like a hood-looking thing. What's at the bottom? Maybe a foot thing. Okay, I'm gonna go with sleeping bag. I'm gonna go with sleeping bag. Military-ish sleeping bag. It's kind of long, like a sleeping bag. It looks like uh, one of them taco types of ones. If maybe just a liner for a sleeping bag. It's really, huh? Thought I'd see a. If it was military, it would have a tag or something on it, which I don't see. So I'll look at it harder. But yeah, that's what we got there. We got the old Jack Lynx beef sticks uh, canister here. All right, we got a little coffee cup brewer. Yeah, let me sit down so I can get into this stuff. I believe the coffee brewer thingy goes with the Black and Decker brew and go. So. Might as well just drink right out of this. It's about the same size a cup, but uh, no. So this is just one where you put your individual cup there, and it brews a cup, cup of coffee, all by itself. So this doesn't go good. All right, and then we got a pitcher. That'll be kind of cool. We always use pitchers. Uh, here is the base to a Hamilton Beach blender. I don't see the other parts of the blender, so that may have to go bye-bye. So 
what else we got? We've got an inflatable salad bar. Inflatable salad bar, but they got like alcohol and stuff in it, so it's kind of a, and it looks like a, like a miniature pool. Great for tailgating and parties, huh? Okay, that's uh, interesting. I mean, it's probably sellable at the flea market. Uh, we got some hair. Sometimes we sell hair at the flea market. Uh, here's a bag of cotton balls. That's probably going to be more of a keeper thing. Here's a little square griddle. And then there's a little round one. I don't know if these are kids ones or if these are actual people ones. It's kind of weird. Alright, here is a little purse. Kind of feels like alligator-y material. I don't see a name on it, but it looks interesting, so it probably can go to the flea market. Here's another little purse here. Um, also has, oh, has, it, no, it has a, this one has a little tag in it. It says it's a bee bag, so there's your bee bag, and it's purple. It'll go to the flea market. Here's a purse that looks like it's made out of bamboo. And that'll probably go to the flea market only because it's kind of weirdish. Weirdish looking. Somebody may actually like that as a weird purse. Uh, looks like it was a uh, Goodwill or uh, Salvation Army thing. Here's another one of them, uh, little bracelets. I'll have to go with the other jewelry, which is somewhere else. Power Eel Strip. Power Strips we, uh, we are able to sell at the flea market. So that, that should be good for flea market. Uh, this cable here, I thought it might go to a video game system or something. That's why I kept it. But yeah, it's going to end up being trash. Uh, that's just a coax cable. What else we got in here? We got some tongs. Got a couple of Nerf type things in here. We got a okay. We got a super soaker still ish in the package here I was hoping it was going to say like Toys R Us on the stickers on that would be good but it's a Hasbro markdown let's see when this thing was actually made um 2016 so 10, 15, 16 so it's not as old as I had hoped but yeah um I will look this up on eBay and see since it's still in the package we just need a little bit of wiping down because it is the actual Nerf Super Soaker and see if that has any value there. The rest of this is just trash. Ooh, it's a spinner. Are you seeing a spinner? Yay, it's a spinner. It doesn't spin very well. Or I just don't know how to do it. There you go, okay. All done with that. And then here is a, uh, a pink gun. Don't know what it's supposed to do. Oh, gotta put some Nerf bullets in there and pull something and yeah okay so yeah we'll check that out picture frames picture frames we have trouble selling those the tongs are kind of interesting probably sell at the flea market but yep that is that one this is our little new new bench table top here all right what else we got i found a bag of christmas stuff i'm not going to bore you with the christmas stuff but there you go, there's Christmas stuff in there that I didn't know we had. It was in one of the cupboards in, in the shed, and now it's not. <laughs> All right, we got a little bag. We always have reusable bags. All right, we have, looks like motorcycle racing pants. Uh, Thorm X leathers. They got some stains on them. Yeah, little stains, but I don't see any major rips in them. The zippers hopefully will look like they work. Here you go. It's a Thor, Thor, Thog, NX AC pants, and they're USA number 36s. Got a lot of plastic or rubberized pieces on it. So, yeah, we'll have to research that up because that could be worth something. Here's a uh, Another couple of Nerf guns. These are uh, Nerf rivals. I got two of them. So I'm a, a dual wielding Punisher guns here. Kind of cool. Actually, they kind of match the pants, so that's kind of cool too. 
All right, what else we got? Uh, we got some more barbecue utensils here. Uh, that will be, move that to the flea market department. Uh, miniature tools, we're gonna put all the tools in another lot and get rid of all those. This is a small Ozark Trail, show them air mattress pumps. Uh, we'll probably sell that with tool stuff. Uh, here is a Sonic Care Phillips toothbrush set that does not look like it's been opened. So yeah, brand new sealed in the package. We'll check that out on eBay. Stay over there or not. Uh, this is a heat gun. I know what these are. And it hooks to one of those propane or map gas canisters and uh, yeah, heats up stuff. So somebody may like that. Um, I don't think I have a can of map gas that I could test it with. Um, I might though. And if I do, then I'll, I'll, I'll check it out on eBay first. And if I do, I'll dig out my can, hook it to it and test it. Because if it works, then we can sell that for a lot more money. Uh, this is just more scrap stuff. Here's uh, another ornament. So I will stick this with the Christmas stuff. And Christmas is over. This is January. Uh, what else we got? We've got a baby monitor system here. But, yeah, probably works. And we just haven't ever used it. What else we got in here? We've got a laser rotate color maybe it's one of them Christmassy pattern thingies I don't know all right here's a real tree license plate frame uh may have to look it up online just to check but if not flea market um holiday ornament for hard rock cafe but it's a it's a guitar let me open it up here so you can see for 2018 looks kind of cool um, I will look that up online I have sold a couple of Christmas items since Christmas so maybe they'll go uh, we have some uh, wallpaper and wallpaper and uh, Simba I think it is Lion King thing tags gone so not really value there a uh, stethoscope for the, so in case you want to play doctor and uh, what else we got down here? Anything that looks good? All right, we got one of these things. Uh, this is the uh, A. And uh, there's a B. And, uh, so this is a wall, sweet dream, maybe, or... Yeah, so let me just pile that up over here. And it, cause it's got a Motorola plug here too, so I don't know if that all goes together, but something over there has got to go with something else. I got more electrical stuff here. That looks like a laptop charger power thingy, cell phone charger wires. I always collect all the wires and keep them when I find them in units. And yeah, I need to actually keep them in the same spot, it'd be easier. There's some more. And I see another wire down here for another. Yes, another one. And this one has an AT&T on, so this is probably for a router or a modem, which is not in here. And here's another wire, 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 wire for a plug. Yeah, I'll just add all that to my wires, except for the round AB gizmo thingy. Once I figure out what that is, it looks like some kind of a massager thing. The Saints, all right, that'll go into our Christmas bag of Christmas stuff to be added to our Christmas stuff for next year. Yeah, and we have a can of, can of dog food. Why, I don't know. Trying to see if it's got some kind of date that I can understand. Looks like uh, 9 17 20, so I'm thinking... Uh, not good. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the laser thing. I mean, I'll plug it in in the house and do a checker out thing. But it had, it's missing like a stand attachment, I guess, or the thing that jams into the ground or, yeah. 
So we'll see what it's supposed to do and maybe shine some kind of light on it or throw it in the trash. Um, well, this looks kind of interesting. Somebody wrote on it, but uh, I don't see any crystally markings, but it's a rose candle holder. Got a pair of those. And well, whoever wrote on them, that's too bad because that looks like it'll actually come off. <laughs> Which means I can sell them as what they're intended. Rose candle holders without any dates on them. Alright, what else we got? We've got a bandana. Brand new bandana. Looks kind of like the American flaggy-ish one. So I will look that up online and then if not flea market it here's a uh, apron for I think for somebody that cuts hair here is another bandana out of the package unless that package was supposed to have two a minute but uh, it's, uh, no one bandana and this is just another one so this is what the bandana will look like because this one's got a stain on it so yeah Oh, excuse me, getting a cold from all this. Here is a beanie, an American beanie. Well, it's probably made in China, but it's American flag pattern. Here is a bird that's a TY bird. Yeah, some of these animals and critters and beanies have some kind of value and some don't. And sometimes it has to do with the tag. And if the tag has misspellings or too big of spaces or something. So if somebody recognizes something in there that I don't, then uh, yeah, uh, yeah, dead bird. Uh, that's it for in here. Like I said, just some uh, banners and paper, wallpaper, and wallpaper banners, a couple of miscellaneous weird tool things. And then the last one for today's video is, oh, goody shoes. Alright, we got a pair of, uh, these ones are wrapped up pretty good. Look like some kind of foam boots. Maybe, uh, maybe leave them in there so I don't get them dirty. But, uh, yeah, some big, big boots. Uh, they don't say Uggs anywhere that I can see there. Or does it say Uggs on the back or something? Nope, doesn't say anything on them. We'll look them up. Oh, here you go. Some purple Nikes? Alright, that'll be eBay. See, now, now I'm making some money. Here's some rubber boots. Rubber shoe. Rubber boots. <laughs> rubber shoes. Uh, slip resistant. Something, something, something. They, not Crocs, but they got a big O on the bottom of them. So we'll look into that. Here is some baby Pumas. Um, probably need to be cleaned up, but then I'll add those to my baby shoe lot. Here's some uh, Jessica Simpsons. Uh, don't know if her shoes will sell, but there's those, and what do these ones say? These ones say Michael, ah, let me open them up here, so Kinsey something something, so are they like Michael Kors or something? It doesn't say anything more there, that one says Michael, this one says Michael. So Michael, I have your shoes here if you need them back. All right, um, some other wedges here. Uh, rock and candy, or something, I think it says. Let's see if I can read the inside bottom. Make sure what it says. That's what it says, Rock and Candy by Siggy. So, I will look those up and see if there's any value there. Um, B C B G temperation. I don't know. Some kind of here's here's some here's some gray boot things. No. Here's a gray boot finch knut knut. It's a weird pattern looking shoe boot thing. What is it? Some kind of high heel shoe leather. Soft leather. Alright, what is it we got here? We got another shoe. It's another B C B B <laughs> B C B C. I don't know. Anyway, got another pair of those. 
These are kind of interesting. What is that? That's a faux snake skin. And see if it says anything inside that we can read. This says Boston Design Studio. I mean, somebody may buy those because they look interesting. That's about it. Uh, these, however, do not look interesting at all. Yeah, so those will probably end up in their trash. Yep. And then we have a little book bag here that says, I love reading. There you go. And that is it for that one there. So, got a lot of shoes, a lot of shoes. We got some, uh, whew, a couple little tool things we got to research. Shoes we have to research. Some Nerf guns we got to research. And a few oddball things. And then Christmas stuff. Everything else uh, we're going to be throwing away probably. Or taking to the flea market. That's our two options. Flea market or eBay. Everything else must go bye-bye. So hopefully you, uh, you enjoyed looking at all the stuff we found. And uh, like I said, we're going to research it. If you want to find any of this stuff and see what we're selling it for, you can check out our brand new-ish eBay store. It's also under Storage Chasers on eBay. Check us out. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, uh, all that fun stuff for the video. And as always, we will talk to you later.